Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal BS Old West. BS Old West. It's a nice map. I always say that when we play this, though. I always say that when we play this, though. I always say that when we play this, though. I always say that when we play this, though. I always say that when we play this, though. I always say that when I play this. Do you guys ever, uh, you guys ever make a commitment to yourself to, to do something? Might be this might be accidentally revealing an embarrassing secret about myself. But you ever make a uh, a commitment to do something like you have uh, you have to do your homework, or you have to hand in a project, or go to work, or apply for a job, or you know lose weight, or or any anything like that where you, you have to make a commitment. And the longer it goes on with you not doing it, the worse it gets, right? And you're constantly reminded of, of this problem. Like you know people are being like, hey, you got that uh, that thing going yet? And it's like, ah, oh, crud. Is ever um, you know make that commitment to yourself like oh, I'm gonna get it done I'm gonna get it this time I'm gonna get it done you know this time this time I'm gonna get it done but then you go through the uh, this this weird like argument with yourself well you always say that but you never actually do it you're like no but this time I'm actually gonna dump well you always say that too and you're like well no no but this time I'm actually gonna get it done like, well I always say that too it's just kind of like back and forth with yourself about how uh, you never actually follow, follow through with anything. You ever, you ever do that? Is that just is that just a me thing? I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it happens uh, on occasion as I'm uh, committing to something. I, I I tend to follow through pretty well on things that I make a commitment to. You know, I tend to be pretty consistent with with what I'm doing. If I'm gonna decide to do something, I'm gonna do it. Typically means I decide not to do a lot of things. <laughs> but. I, uh, if, I, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it, you know? This cat's back in the game. I, just, I feel bad if I, if I do something and I don't do it, you know? It's just, uh, it's, a, it's a bad kind of feeling. So I don't, I don't do it to myself too often. But sometimes, you know, I'll have to get a video up or whatever. And I'll be like, yeah, I'll do it. Just like, uh, I'll do it after dinner. And then after dinner, I'm like, ah, I've still got time. I can just, I can just do it in like, you know, an hour. And I'm like, yeah, but you said that last time. You know, just just get it done. No, 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 but this time, for real. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Probably gonna end up leaving it to last minute, and it's gonna be like, you know, moments before the, the last possible moment, and now, uh, you know, everything's kinda going to hack. Which isn't what happened tonight. I was just reminded as I had my, uh, my bit about repeating myself over and over again there. Yes, this is the end of the world. Doesn't, uh, it does look like... But there, the world, the end, uh, the world ends suddenly there anyway. Like you can't actually go back. I think I'm, I've never been in this building. Wish there was more interior decoration in this map. That's one thing I think this map could uh, benefit from is is just a a little spattering of tables and chairs and stuff. You know, just a little spittering of, of this stuff over uh, throughout all these buildings because they're just a lot of empty buildings and it's. Uh, it's a nice map for killing stuff and having everything come at you and being able to see stuff fairly clearly, nice and bright. It's, but it's just a little bit of detail would go a long way, especially in some of the less traveled buildings. Like you spawn over here, right? Like this is where you spawn. Typically, you're gonna end up kiting around like this area-ish. Maybe go back there a couple of times. Um, but like this building, I mean, how often are people going into this building? Playing this map, how often are you going through here? And how often, specifically, as you come through here, are you walking over this way? Alright? How often is that happening? Alright, put a desk in there. Put a put a countertop. Like, something something like this in each of the buildings would be a huge improvement, in my opinion. Regardless, it's still a well-designed map. It's uh, just from a perspective of uh, the pathfinding of the mobs. I think it's really, really good. Uh, it's just uh, from, from a visual thing. I think I've talked about it before, but visually the map's not that great. But, um, design-wise, from, from, like, uh, pathfinding design, I think that it's fantastic. But, uh, visually, it's, it's, it's definitely leaves a lot on the table. We'll, we'll leave it that way, I guess. I feel like it's an easier map. I don't think I've ever really been in danger on this map so much. Pretty much, you know, we play this map, and I, mean, I don't know, we play anything in Suicidal these days, really, and your best bet is really that I'm going to win. 
How on earth is such a big jump up from suicidal though, I always find? Because I've tried it a couple of times, and, and I can do it, you know. I'm not a bad KF2 player. Not that you have to be a bad KF2 player to die on hell on earth, but... Like, I'm a good, I'm, I'm good at this game, and... Hell on earth is, it's just, it's just a little bit too stressful for me. You know? And suicidal is just that little bit easy. I don't know, I don't know exactly what the difference is between hell on earth and suicidal. I believe that hell on earth spawns more... Of the high value targets with scrakes, quarter pound, or I think quarter pounds or medium zen. Um, but it spawns more scrakes and flesh pounds. Uh, I believe you might be able to have more spawned at one time as well, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, I believe they do more damage and take less damage. Um, but like none of that is just a huge degree. So re really, the difference in difficulty is fairly comparable. But it's just like one step up, you know. Break time's over. It's, it's a straw that breaks the camel's back, right? You go from being this like super simple, I don't know, pretty face rolly kind of content on what the heck is going on here, dude? <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on there. Um, the super face rolly content, even. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a something where you actually have to start trying and, and start putting in an effort to actually like be good You know and it, it takes away especially with the commentary side of things um, A lot of my focus from being able to just kind of like shoot Because on suicidal I'm barely like thinking about the game really at all I'm just basically like I don't know you see a bloat and you shoot him in the head, you know That's all that's all there is to that whereas in hell on earth. I have to like actually think about I'm gonna move and I have to pay attention to like husk stuff. You know, right now I'm occasionally hearing the husks and dodging them and I feel good about it, but for the most part it's it's a fairly mindless sort of gameplay experience, you know? I'm not really uh my, my brain's not very engaged in this, we'll, we'll say it that way. It'd be a very boring experience if uh to play as much as I'm playing with the same content. It'd be a terribly boring experience. <laughs> if I weren't recording. Terribly, terribly boring. But the the whole recording thing makes it uh, fun for me. Cause I mean, I'm a gunslinger. I'm playing on the same like nine maps over and over and over again for hundreds of hours. <laughs> you know, like it's uh, it's not very exciting content. I I I, I fully get that, but uh, once you add in the recording, it just makes it so much fun for me. I don't know. So I, I really want to make sure that I'm focusing on on that side of things because I mean the content itself. I mean I could be playing on normal. Well, no, I couldn't be playing on normal. We've done that. Not fun. You know, I want uh, I want on occasion for it to kind of. I want I want. I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll put it this way. I never want to be challenged, but I want it to look like I'm being challenged. You know, like that's my dream. I want it to look impressive, but not really be that hard for me. I mean, maybe that's that's impressive. Maybe maybe that is impressive. Maybe that this isn't hard. Maybe maybe that's what impresses you as a, as a terrible KF2 player, perhaps. I don't know. But uh, I don't want it to be something that's actually difficult for me to handle. But I want it to be something that uh, your average watcher is going to be like, "Wow, I have no idea how you even handled that." You know? You know what I mean? Like that's that's kind of my goal content there. So when you go down to normal. It doesn't. It doesn't look impressive. So the the background video of the commentary is like you know nothing, right? There's got to be something happening there for people to kind of pay attention to. It's not just a podcast, although it kind of is. There's got to be something back there where people are like, "Wow, I'm like you're generous. pretty good at this," you know? And then uh, that that kind of keeps them around a little bit, you know. But then I also don't want it to be actually so hard that I'm not able to have a coherent discussion with uh, myself as as I play and, and shoot stuff. I don't know, it was, a, it was kind of a fun experience doing the endless stuff the other day because we were just like talking the entire time as we were going through like boss after boss after boss and just, I don't know, it, it, just, it was really kind of like cool that I was able to do that because I know that, I don't know, seven months ago or whatever when I, when I started this, that was not something I could have done. You know, when I started doing this, I was I was always complaining about how hard it is for me to 
be able to talk as I'm and I, I often back you then I would I would discuss how um you know I'm gonna get better at it both at the uh, the talking and, and the mindless rambling thing and then I'm also gonna get better at KF2 and both of those combined are gonna make it a lot easier for me to handle myself as I as I play the game and, and commentate about just random garbage really we never really talk about anything important really but uh, I talked about it back then even but like it was it was really really hard for me to maintain any kind of coherency throughout uh, throughout especially as you were like hiking up the difficulty to suicidal back then um, you know it was really really hard for me to actually um, like pull together some kind of coherency and nowadays it's it's like just natural as I play KF2 you know it's it's hard for me to focus on the game for for the most part you know like everything's kind of just second nature to me and talking and rambling about whatever is also kind of just second nature so really it's just it's not a lot of brain power to what I'm doing right now I wouldn't necessarily call it relaxing it's still very exhausting so I, I suppose there is a lot of sort of mental uh, strain kind of going on but it doesn't it doesn't feel like I'm really engaging myself that much whereas before it definitely did and that's not a bad thing I'm not saying like I wish I was being engaged and I wish I was you know doing this although I kind of do but that's what all of the other content is for as well right like the, the Minecraft series and the RuneScape series and Guns Fire Reborn and all of this stuff that's gonna be coming up on the other channel soon uh, kind of fulfills that purpose of, of being challenged and this kind of fulfills the purpose of, of just kind of relaxing and, and talking about just whatever, which I don't really get to do, especially with COVID going on. Like, you don't really get to, to have friends that you go visit and stuff and just kind of shoot the poop with, right? And that's kind of what I get to do here. And it's it's, uh, it's, just, it's just fascinating to me that I'm able to, to do that so easily now. Because I, I remember back when... Uh, I started this, how difficult it was for me to do that, and how I often remarked about how it was difficult, and now it's just like, what, you want to play KF2 and not commentate? Like, what? <laughs> how is that going to help you, you know? I don't really get to, I mean, I still, I think I still do use it as an excuse, but it doesn't really feel like the commentating is taking away from my ability to play the game at all. I don't know, maybe, maybe to a certain extent I suppose it is, because it is literally taking, like, some degree of, of mental equity, you know, to, to be able to to commentate and, and maintain this kind of discussion with myself. Um, so I, I suppose I would be a better KF2 player without it, but it doesn't feel like it's impacting me as much as it used to. And it's kind of, I mean, it's a testament to practice, right? If you continue doing something and you do it a lot and you do it for a long time, you're going to get better at it. It might, it might take you, you know, seven, eight months or whatever, but you go watch the the first, like, ten videos of this series, and I, I promise you, I guarantee you, I am worse at both the commentary part and the gameplay part, you know? Like, I'm, I'm better at both of them now, I think, anyway. I hope so. And, uh, that's the, it's expected, right? Like, that's expected after you put in, I mean, how many hours? Uh, I think I have over a thousand hours of content on my channel at this point. After, after that much practice, I, I mean, I'd, I'd hope I'm getting better. <laughs> like I, I'd, I'd, I'd sure as heck hope I'm getting better. But uh, at the game especially, I am. I can't really speak to the uh, the improvements to my commentary. Definitely the confidence I have while recording is, is up. I definitely have, uh, like, I used to have to re-record like, re takes before, because they were just, like, garbage, you know? Like, a, a take would just be absolute trash. And I'd, 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 I'd stick to it, and I'd continue with it, and then afterwards I'd be, like, rewatching it, and be like, ah, that's not really that good. Nowadays, I, I, I recognize it as I'm going, and it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a big confidence boost as I'm recording, which is, which is really, really, really nice. Um, it makes it a lot more consistent for me as well, but, uh... For the quality of the commentary, I don't know. I don't know, because I was doing the quality control before, but I'm not doing that now. So if you're, if you're like, you know what, it feels about the same, then that's an improvement. Because uh, the last time I re-recorded a video was 200, 300 episodes ago or something. Um, 
for for reasons uh, other than something kind of outside my control, kind kind of. And my first example here is definitely going to be something entirely within my control, but not related to the commentary. But if I uh, like muted myself for video, I'll re-record that. I think that's the last time I re like had to repeat an episode, which was I don't know, 60, 70 episodes ago, maybe. Um, and then sometimes people are making noise in the background or whatever. But like, I just if if the commentary, if the quality of it seems about the same. Then that's that's a big improvement to me. That's a big improvement. But it's uh, it, it is it is nice to to see the improvements. Kind of gives me confidence in other areas of my life. I mean, KF2 the the series here has always kind of been that for me, where it's kind of been a motivator for me in in many aspects of my life. Kind of showing me that if I if I stick to it, then I I can do something. You know, because. Before I recorded this, I, I really had a, a pretty poor track record with sticking with things after I lost interest in them. And, uh... I, I, I haven't done that with the KF2 series. I've clearly, clearly been to the point where that would have happened. There's no denying that, okay? Like, I've had to shut stuff down and, and migrate to a new channel and handle this kind of stuff. Like, that's clearly a breaking point for me before, right? Like, that would have been the end of the... The YouTube channel entirely, and right now we're just ending up with some light, late videos and stuff. But I don't really care about that. Time's up. Um, but uh, it's still going. It's still happening. Like we're gonna get to 500 episodes soon. That's insane to me. To have stuck with it and done two episodes every single day for, I mean, we're approaching a year, right? Like we're not that far off yet. We're closer to a year than we were. We're, we're. we're closer to a year of me making KF2 episodes than to where I started, right? Like we're we're well over half a year into this now, which is just incredible to me that I was able to stick to it. And then uh, that's kind of always been since I started anyway, kind of a factor in my confidence just in general being like yes I can do this I can decide to do something and stick to it and, and make that happen and, and not you know burn out on it after a little while I, I can make this work and I can regulate it and I can do this and uh, yeah it's, it's just it's just it's it's really cool to me anyway but uh, that's gonna do her for today so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to the new channel as well because there will be content coming out on that very, very soon. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.